let's discuss fluoroscopic technique. As with static radiographic exposures, operation of the fluoroscope at higher KV ranges results in an increased transmission of X-ray photons through the patient so that less radiation will be required. Brightness is directly related to MA. Brightness is directly related to MA when it comes to fluoroscopy, but its relationship with KVP may require an adjustment in our thinking. Your textbook states brightness is related to KVP roughly to the fifth power of KVP. It gives the example of changing from 80 to 88 KVP, a 10% increase. The brightness would increase more than 50%. For most procedures, high KVP and low MA are appropriate, with one exception. When anatomic structures have low subject contrast, high KVP is more uniformly penetrating. If you recall from your Exposure Principles course, we need that differential absorption, only possible with a lower KVP setting, in order to promote higher image contrast when the subject contrast is low. The image here from your textbook displays some KVP ranges for fluoroscopy and spot filming for various exam types. If you notice, these are similar KVP ranges to overhead views performed with the associated exams. We select 110 to 120 KVP when single contrast barium is utilized, which is appropriate for barium's attenuation properties. For dual contrast, 90 to 100 KV, and for iodinated contrast, the 75 to 85 range produces image contrast that takes advantage of the attenuating properties of water-soluble contrast with iodine's atomic number. Some variations exist in automatic brightness control units in that some need to have the KVP values set for specific procedures. Others will automatically adjust the KVP up or down, plus or minus 10 KVP. If for any reason the image on the display monitor is too bright or too dim, do not adjust the television brightness or contrast, which can increase image noise. As I stated in the previous video, the ABC should have the ability to disengage or manually override so the operator can adjust the KVP, then re-engage the ABC so it makes the appropriate adjustments around this new KVP value.